More fallout tonight in Bangor. Two teachers in that district now have resigned after video surfaced showing a group of instructors making inappropriate comments about students and co-workers at a local bar. The school board must accept those resignations. But what separates bad behavior from illegal behavior and what about privacy rights? 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie is taking this story further, all new at 6. Brian, the video is outrageous to be sure, and the, the very least shows bad judgment on the parts of adults who should know better. But there are a number of gray areas when it comes to the laws these incidents fall under. The game they played was crude, involving naming people they'd like to kill or sleep with. And in some cases, the names of students were mentioned. The language and tone of the conversations were not up to the standards of most who take on the job of teaching children. The community is rightly outraged. When you have teachers who have acted like that, it is appalling. Two teachers have resigned, but what about the others at that table? Those conversations rise to the level of a fireable offense, as many at last night's Board of Education meeting suggested. Teachers and everybody else has a constitutional right to a freedom of speech. Sarissa Montag is an attorney with the Kalamazoo law firm of Levine and Levine. She says there are exceptions to the rule. As it applies to the teachers, if there was something in their contract, in their union agreement, something like that, that prohibited them from saying things, then that could be an issue. And what about privacy issues? Did the person recording the video violate anyone's rights? There are statutes that are, they're called eavesdropping statutes and they they make it illegal for people to record conversations without the permission of the people who are participating in the conversation but, but again there are exceptions that to that rule as well and when you have six people in a bar um, a, a bar that's open to the public it is certainly difficult i would say to say that that is a private conversation bottom line just about everyone has the means to record you and send it out to a lot of people um, I don't know that there is necessarily a black line that separates what you can do and what you can't do. However, you certainly should use common sense when you are having conversations um, that really can be overheard by anybody. Now that's the view from the criminal side of the law, but what about the civil side? Could someone be sued over this? Montag says there are a number of gray areas in that part of the law as well. But as we reported at the top of the show, two of the teachers involved have now chosen to resign.